Lucas Sims and the Reds did not have a fun eighth inning this week against the Diamondbacks thanks to the weather in what I can honestly only describe as torrential downpour. So if you don't know who Lucas Sims is, he really came into his own last year, sporting a 2.45 ERA across 20 games and becoming a very solid bullpen arm for the Reds. As you can see, he's got nine strikeouts on the season with one walk, and career-wise, he really doesn't hit batters. So we're in the top of the eighth inning, runners on second and third with one out. The first pitch to the at-bat was a ball, and the second pitch, it is raining, mind you, is going to load the bases. Yep, so you can definitely see it's really coming down now. Now, Lucas Sims does average about 93.7 and tops out at 95.6 miles per hour, so that's pretty dangerous if you miss your spots. Now, this is where the problem starts. So set low, a little bit outside, set low again, way outside, set up a little higher, way outside again. Now, he's starting to find his own a little bit here. He's going to get some foul balls. It's still near the zone, at least, so he's not missing his spots as bad. So 2-2 two, two pitch, he's probably thinking, can we just please delay this game already? Now it's 3-2, misses way outside again. That's the spot that he keeps going to on his missed pitches. So he's got a 3-2 count. At this point, you got to just throw a fastball anywhere near the zone, and he walks in the go-ahead run. It is now 5-4 D-backs, top of the eighth inning. At this point, everyone's like, okay, are we delaying this game or not? So David Bell comes out, he explains his omberphobia, which is the fear of rain. The ump says that's not real, just go back to the dugout, it's not a big deal. The grounds crew is just waiting, they're ready to go. Here's where the fun begins. Lucas is like, I am not throwing another pitch, so how do I get out of this? Hey, this ball's wet, give me another ball. So I'm just like, okay, here's another ball. So he gets another ball, he checks that one out. Nah, this one's wet too, I don't want it. Tucker Barter, what the fuck is going on here? I love how he just looks at the ump, he's like, come on. Lucas probably thinking, oh, God, this guy's coming up here. He's going to want to play catch. Hey, man, this ball's wet. I don't want this one. Hey, oh, you got another one? Oh, look, it's wet, too. I don't want that. Hey, do you have another one? Wait a minute. It's wet, too. It's raining. I'm just like, ah, you're no fun. God, I'm leaving. David Bell then comes down. He's like, hey, man, remember that conversation we had earlier where you told me my fears aren't real? Well, it's way worse now. Where's your manager? So in comes Jerry Meals, the crew chief. Seems to be a pretty quick conversation. He's like, hey, man, you see this rain? It's not good. And Jerry Meals like, yeah, it's not good. Let me call in the grounds crew. Now, you might be thinking, okay, okay, they're going to get the entire grounds crew out there. You know, we're going to get, no, 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 no entire grounds crew. Three guys with diamond dry going to the mound. You can still see David Bell is talking to the umpires, figuring out, are we delaying this game or not? This goes on for about a minute or two until finally the call is made, which should have been made about an inning and a half prior to delay the game. Look at that. I don't really think you have to be a baseball fan to kind of look at a situation like this objectively and consider the inherent danger when it comes to playing in conditions like this, especially with radar tracking systems that can track storms. You can't help but feel the frustration for the Reds and their fans for a situation like this. I mean, this should have never happened. The game should have been delayed way earlier than it was, and uh, man, that sucks. 